<laughs> Elliot, what are you doing? What's this all about? You better have a good explanation. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, I can't wait to hear this excuse. It was horrible. Weenie was minding his own business really? when she appeared. He screamed! <gasps> but she ignored his cry. And then she grabbed him with her claws. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Then she tried to squeeze the voice out of him. <sighs> That's horrible. Sad story. But he fought back. Oh, she tortured him, slapped him, <laughs> poked his eyes out like this. It was horrible. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Ah, the humanity. Ah. Elliot, are you maybe putting a little bit too much on that? Listen, Boog, I'm telling a story. And finally, the hairless blob dragged him up into her chariot of horror. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. So what you're saying is... That's how it is, McKenna! No. Yes, well, yes, true, it's true. Tough break, I miss him already. What now? Well, uh, we could finish the ceremony. Come on, I worked hard on those centerpieces. As much as Elliot and I want to finish the ceremony, we need to go after Mr. Weenie. Giselle's right. And until he's back in the safety of our friends and family, in the warm caress of our bosoms, there will be, there can be, no celebration. What can we do? Probably halfway to the valley's end by now. So? We can't give up. We didn't give up on them hunters when they raided the forest. We can't give up on our friend Weenie. The booster's right. Who's with me? Oh, yeah. Count me in. Me too. Okay. Good. Who else is in? I am feeling it in Bajin Suam. Let's quit bumping the gums and get him a right, Jevin. I'm not sure what the Squizmeister just said, but I'll take that as a yes. Yes! It's a yes! Uh, I, I'm in too. Yeah, I'm, cool. I'm with you, buddy. Ah, sorry, I got the wife and kids. You know, you turn your back on those little pelts for one second, all heck breaks loose. I'm out. Oh, leave it to the beaver. In your dreams, I just had my nails done, girl. Sounds fun, but I gotta stay back and protect the herd. You're all a bunch of meek minded, yellow bellied pansy! As uh, McSquizzy is trying to say, a smaller group is probably better anyway. We can move faster. Let's get a move on. Move out, boys. Hut, 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 Um. You're going the wrong way, you big dusty. I know that. Molly. Hut, 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 hut. Oh, Mr. Man, we've been looking for you for so long. It must have been horrible out there all alone in the wild. Oh, no one's going to believe it. Should I call the caravan, Bob? Oh. Breaker, breaker, Fox Jaws. This is Mud Flaps and Wild Man. Copy that. Over. You'll never guess. We found Mr. Weenie. It's true. Say hello, <laughs> Mr. Weenie. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Congrats, Mud Flaps. Good to hear. <clears throat> What's that, Bob? Oh, Wild Man says we need to make a pit stop for a filler. We'll see you over at the campgrounds. Over. Breaker, breaker, happy travelers. Put your ears on. I've got great news. Mud flaps and wild man found their long lost weenie dogs. Oh, <laughs> oh man, is this good. Hey, Fifi, you want some? You know, Roberta, those doggy treats are filled with carbohydrates. And if I can pronounce that word, that would mean what? It would mean you should stick to the lean proteins, the meats, the poultry. How are you going to look sitting by the pool? I don't know. Hot and really happy. That was rhetorical, moron. Put down the treats. You've eaten enough. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Uh, hey, Fifi? Yes? How long do you think it'll be till we stop? Cause I gotta poop. <sighs> Seriously, I gotta poop really bad. I said that it was going to be a long ride, but you never listened. Just like you didn't listen when I told you not to eat the entire leftover burrito grande. <laughs> huh? Now, you know what this means I have to do. Gosh darn. Every time we leave the house, you put me through this every... Fifi! Fifi, stop! Do you hear me? Come on, 
Help a brother out. What on earth has gotten into that dog? You know, I hate doing this. Yeah, but you do it so well. Can you hurry it along? Oh, there you are, baby. Fifi. One pit stop coming up. <laughs> This is Fox Jaws. One of my little yappers just served up a can of gut soup, and oh, we are talking chunky. Let's pull off over. Come on, you dumb kid. Get off the road. You two run along while I get cleaned up. Out of my way, out of my way. I don't want to be rude, but I gotta go. Finally, old buddy. Ah, oh, here we go. Finally, it's been ages. Actually, it's been exactly one year, Roger. Really? It seems like such a long time. Oh, I have to explain this again. Okay, listen. We go to Pet Paradiso every year at the same time. And, painfully, we have the same conversation. We do? Yes, yes, we do. Is this ringing a bell? Finally, it's been ages. It's gonna be a long week. Oh, Rufus! There you are. How's my shining star? Why, Charlene, look at you. Don't you look prettier than a glob of butter on a stack of wheat cakes? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness me. Thank you, Rufus. A oh, mayor? Well, I'd be much obliged. <laughs> hey, Fifi, did you hear they found Mr. Weenie? Isn't that great? Really? Are you sure? I heard he lived with wild animals. Oh, oh no. Oh. That's horrible. He's lucky they didn't hurt him. Or kill him. Or worse, I was once in the vicious clutches of wild animals. You were? I was. What was it like? It's too painful for me to talk about. Gather around. Okay, baby, you want to squeaky talk about There I was, all alone. You want it? Alone in that steaming jungle, that unforgivable heart of darkness where you can't see your own paws and the only sound is the frantic but adorable pitter-patter of your own heart when suddenly they were everywhere there was no escape my life flashed before my eyes and then the unspeakable what happened did you live what happened i'll show you what happened? What this? Feel less into you all. <gasps> How ghastly! Oh, it's so pink. That is one sad tale. I want a girlfriend. Don't interrupt now, please. I lost two things on that day. My innocence and my squeaky toy. <gasps> oh, you poor sweet thing. Speak of the devil. Disgusting. Oh, no. Not the fuzzy little bunny. Don't you understand? We must remain vigilant. Even one wild animal among us can send us back to those dark days of anarchy. Come on, but he's so cute. Pay attention. Even one little fuzzy bunny can infest us all. Like the fleas on Roberto's back, they must all be eradicated. <laughs> I'm going to tear you apart! One day, you vile little beast, one day, I will personally teach you a lesson you will never forget! I'm coming, Mother.